Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Bill Mahari here, represent Mahari Nation Sports Podcast. Much love to the entire LDBC and the entire uh, sports community. If you want more basketball content, tune in to Basketball Conversations every Friday night, 9 p.m. Central Time. It's where we discuss basketball-related topics, news, debates, and everything else in the world of basketball. And as of today, basketball has finally resumed, you guys. So we are back in the full swing of things for the new condensed 2020 NBA season. So I've decided that I'm going to probably watch some games, get you guys my commentary and some of my perspective on some of the you know key games and during this A-game stretch. So stay tuned for all the latest details along that. Now, I want to apologize to you guys for not for missing out the last two days. I've been kind of, you know, exhausted with a lot of work recently. So, you know, I'm back, freshed up, ready to go. So let's get down to it. All right. So big news coming out of the National Football League. Yes, the National Football League, the place where, you know, the conservative fan base likes to resonate. Well, not anymore this time around. Now, as I reported uh, a couple weeks back that. Daniel Snyder, the, form, the owner of the uh, Washington football team, and watch and listen to how I'm saying it, pretty much was put on pressure to pretty much change the name from the Redskin name to a new name because of the offensive, you know, language of the uh, Redskin name. So, as of today, they officially have announced that they're now going to call the Redskin name to now call the Washington football team, which is pretty much just, <laughs> I mean, come on, like. How are you, can you just call it the call it something else before you decided to do that? That's just I'll give you my more personal opinion in a, in a second here. But pretty much Daniel Snyder has been, you know, resistant for over the past decades to to basically resist changing the name, even through all the protesting, through all you know, all the you know, you know petitions and all the recommendations and all the pressure on him. He's been resistant to changing the name. Well, but because of what happened to George Floyd back in May and through all the uh, protests that have been going on around this country, okay, pretty much pretty much advertisers and sponsors are recognizing now that it is no longer profitable to be in to support racism. And pretty much FedEx and Nike and other, you know, sports advertisers that sponsor the, the Washington franchise pretty much pretty much said that you either change the name or we're bailing out. And as a business, and as a businessman like Daniel Snyder is, he didn't, he could not afford losing his main top sponsors. So, pretty much, pretty much, he announced announced that the name Washington Football name is going to pretty much be the name of the team until until they can find a new permanent name that basically the British they can use. So, in reading some of the stuff that I saw from the uh, Washington Post, and I'll post the link to the article in the description, much. They pretty much said that Thursday's announcement essentially ended the review, but it doesn't solve the long-term question of what the team will be called in the future. Okay, so this has been this is really becoming much more you know much more weirder as this goes on. Now we are I'm glad that they that they have now decided now they changed the name because honestly it's been a long overdue. And I'll be honest, I've been one of those people that just pretty much said, "Listen, man, they're not going to change the name, so just leave it alone." You know, I was kind of ignorant like that over the over a decade ago. But as I grown up and learned and matured over the course of time, it is really becoming to the point now where, yeah, I, I they, you just pretty much have to change the name. I mean, it's been going on for the past eighty seven years since they since they moved the franchise from Boston to Washington, and the fact that they have been resistant to changing the name over the course of time is because is just beyond ridiculous i even remember when the super bowl was in uh minneapolis back in 92 and there were native american groups from north dakota south dakota and most of them from the midwest even some in minnesota too that came down to the metrodome to protest basically that for the name change all right and talking about how deeply offensive the, the uh the word the r word is all right and so i believe that they should just go back to. They should just probably just name it the Washington Senators. Do you remember that? Do you remember the movie that replaces back in back in the, back in two thousand with Keanu Reeves and the and the boys? All right. I think they should just name it the Washington Senators and brought and just name it as that way. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's much more easier to call it that way. And honestly, if I, if I had the chance to replace the name Senators, would have been the perfect name to use, for my personal opinion. But definitely, this was this. If Daniel Snyder wasn't being pressured by his main advertisers to change the name, there is no doubt in my mind he would have not changed the name. All right. 
But right now, as of after all the protests and, and with the wake of George, uh, the, the death of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, you know, all the names of black people that were killed at the hands of, you know, uh, corrupt police. All right. Now, the whole tenor of this entire country has changed. Now, it is not profitable to support racism at this point. And the NFL right now is basically basically playing catch up because they recognize they made a terrible mistake of letting Colin Kaepernick get blackballed by the league owners. And so all all of this, everything that has really come into fruition has now came into full circle right now. And I'm glad that the NFL is getting is basically getting getting crapped all over it because they should have never they should have never blackballed Kaepernick in the first place. But I don't want to get off topic here. The point is, you know, the rag that they're making this making this change to the Washington football team is like, bro, just name it, just name it something else. All right. You didn't you never really wanted to name you didn't want to change the name of the team in the first place. And now you now you beat your hand was being forced to do so. I mean it just goes to show you the nature of how Daniel Snyder thinks and how he thinks of his business. All right. And and it's not just him. A lot of other uh, the uh, all the all the other owners share the same sentiment and the same, you know, racist viewpoints. But most of them are too afraid to speak out because they're too afraid of losing a lot of their business. That's just how that's this nature of what's going on right now. And so at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. You know, hopefully they can get a name change soon before the season starts. But I have a feeling that this is going to last probably the entire year until they can find a new suitable name that they could use. But they just could have came in with a uh, with a uh, new name like the Washington Senators and just leave it at that. That's just how I would have done it. But. You know, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of different people that would have probably named it to something else, though. But but let me know what you guys think in the comment section. What kind of name would you want to see on that football team? And with that, I'm out. Peace.